It's not enough for me to just have some old Windows XP jank machine over there that I have to use all the time. Oh, you think that's impractical enough for a guy like me? I gotta have a PC with this tiny five inch screen that fits in the palm of my hand, uses this tiny keyboard, and needs to be made out of bricks. Sent in by Pantasy. It's a retro 90s PC, and it's got some pretty realistic looking internals. What, you think I'm gonna build something like this and not turn it into an actual computer? My lawyers are telling me Pantasy does not support cutting people. Break this seal. That's what I would say if I worked at a zoo and we had a seal that was being really bad. Oh, okay. Look at all these bags of candy. A valentine? It has instructions? Whew. Okay, this video is gonna be a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Oh, they even put me in the instructions as me building the computer. Oh. Sorry, there's a goose in this room. What they fit together too? That's wild, no shot. Now, I am legally obligated to tell you by the state of the art, good save, that that segment was more than likely fast forwarded slightly and that I physically can't move that fast in real life. Those of you who can count will notice the two. Now, that suggests a lot of noise. All the delicate care I'm putting into putting this together Pudding. And then I'm gonna get done and just tear it to shreds trying to get an actual computer in there. It's gonna break my soul ever so slightly. Oh, look at this little dude. You can legally use this brick to tell the other people to turn in a circle. Weird how people think I lie all the time. Now, if you look really closely at this quality brick, like really up close, you'll see the text I put. That Pantasy uses Go Bricks and pad printing. Now, do I have enough brain cells to know what that means? No, but I'm told the nerds out there are currently swooning that I said that. So be sure not to swoon all over the comment section and get it all gross and swoony. Slicker than Slick McRick. Y'all know who that guy is. I wanna point out, I can appreciate that although this is gonna be tiny, there's enough room at least for me to squeeze some components, like just a little sneak peek. It fits. It shan't be too hard. I might have to censor what I just said. Bag three, sequel to connect four. <laughs> oh, lawyers. Legally, I must say that it is not the direct sequel to connect four. Everyone always talks about lawyers. What about lawyers? Some of the tech geniuses out there will notice, probably freaking out to how accurate this is. I mean, as someone myself who has definitely worked on several IBM PC 330s in my time, <laughs> I mean, it's got the span Spandlinger, Inflingerino is around here. These are probably heat sinks. I think I know that. This Panacea Core has 400 horsepower. This is cool. That's actually kind of neat. Just gotta put in this Abscondi 400, this uh, Gordel Swinger right here. Oh, I actually do know what that's supposed to be. That's great. I like that this makes me feel smart. That improves my relationship with many things. Oh. I added that sound effect like just now, by the way, that was me. And also the, oh, that was me too. Check out one of these little swoop. Allows the computer to pute. Come on over here. Compute over here. We, we're puting. Compute with us. Nobody clip that or clip it and erase it. And we're back. I changed my clothes because I peed with how cool this is. It's just a literal mini desktop. Did you did you know that? Did you guys get that part? Keyboard and mouse are adorable. I mean, the whole screen's adorable. The fact that it has all the correct pluggies. Look at this, look at this. It's an actual serial plug port thing. One of these, one of these things. They made it into a real thing. Look at your cute little baby, you your boo boo. It's got an actual mouse pad, which is literally mouse pad material. And it has a literal lie on the other side. It's like this was made for me. Hey, you come here. Come here, I gotta show you. Oh, you're heavy. You got this little button you can push. The old SD card. It's a floppy drive, but push this dude in. Look at this. It says compact disc on it. Can't you see? <laughs> and even though we're still about to get to putting the actual components in so it's a fully functional PC, look, it's a fully functional PC. You can absolutely play Minesweeper on it. Wow, I'm good. I'm so good at that game. And insert your own card if you'd like, but if you want to be in DOS mode, you can do so. Or Windows without Minesweeper. I mean, that would be cringe. <laughs> This is actually one of the better hobby type gifts I could think of. You're in that demographic, and on the website they've got tons of others. Different licensed properties, all priced way better than the certain 
competitor brand. I highly recommend though. All the links will be in the description if you want to check this out. And just from a personal standpoint, the fact they're willing to send this out, sponsor this video to make this possible. Feels just like a tiny little bit, just a little warm and fuzzy. I like it. I think it's good. Now we're gonna destroy it in a gentle way in a very nice techie kind of way. In order to add some of these components, screen, keyboard, computer, mouse, and I don't think I'll have to demolish this thing too hard. I mean, mostly just because I can open it up as is. Whoever designed this had a magical premonition, the thought that I exist, and they're like, oh, make it so it's easy for him, easy for Peter. You just shove all that stuff in there. Here is the screen that I got to fit inside, but it's in this weird housing where it collapses like this and then pops up. I think it's normally for a car. So we're gonna have to very gently separate this from its case. I wanted it to seem like I was super strong. Just <clears throat> See, honestly, this project in particular, I want it to be like a, like a Ratatouille type project, you know? Like the message in that was that anyone can cook. It's actually the message in every Pixar movie if you really think about it. You can see that this is a project you can do with just only a screwdriver. Anyone can screw drive. And anyone can regular drive. Now legally is a different topic. And now I'm retrieving everyone's favorite device because a lot of them, and this is kind of a weird thing, really prefer during projects like this that I use glue directly on the bricks. That's a little weird, honestly, concerns me slightly. But I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, there will be no glue directly on any bricks today. This is the first build where I don't commit what is broadly believed in society to be a sin. This stuff can hang right here. Well, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Banky, uh-oh, Banky, uh-oh, Banky. There is no way this still functions. Okay, get my emergency Hello Kitty GameCube for an immediate test. Oh. Oh no. Not not everyone can cook. In fact, I should be banned from the kitchen. I have an emergency screen. It's the exact same size. Huh. I guess it's true what they say, like a couple like a few people can probably cook. Maybe if they're really lucky and happen to have other screens lying around. Slight interior modifications, and we can just slide this bad boy in here. I can't quite get this brick off here. Up, oh, brick separator from Fantasy. Separate all your bricks easily. Wow. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> oh, wait. This is the keyboard that I got. We were going to modify it and make it match the computer. It's almost millimeter to millimeter, the exact same size as the keyboard that comes with this. Uh, that being said, that doesn't help me in pretty much any way whatsoever. We're just gonna give it a nice skin. Also usable as lip gloss. Fantasy does not condone using glue as lip gloss. This bad boy on like this. Get your nearest matching power brick. And now the moment of truth. My dog wants to be very loud all of a sudden and throw rocks around my kitchen. Please, please work. Doesn't have to behave exactly like a 90s computer. Oh! Why indeed, it was simply a matter of patience. Another virtue of the 90s PC game. How could I have forgotten? Ah, of course. This is a lot like, if you guys remember, we got AMC. AM, see me play this game. Oh dear, some ya or some ye or whatever it is. Let me take off, there it is. <laughs> A7X. So I'm like trying to survive and these guys are trying to get me. So this is like YouTube comment section simulator. Just kidding, most people are pretty nice and it ruins my negative jokes. Time over. Side-scrolling game named Abe's Amazing Adventure. Better be pretty crazy. This is actually, this is actually pretty crazy. Ah, it is I, Abe. That's a masher. I just got mashed. I can open this. There's a crab, but I did get a balloon. This water appears to be water. This is an amazing adventure. E, diamond, polar bear. He has to be friendly, right? Sonic Jam 6. Yeah, I've, I've definitely played this before. He's puking, he's puking and barfing. This is the ideal fantasy computer. 
experience is what we all wanted from the very second this video started. You were all thinking it and I was thinking it too. Grit. My back hurts beyond belief. Therefore, I'm going to not sit up straight and continue gaming, but quit gaming because that is the only way to sit up straight. Obviously, we must be completely meta. Look at this bad boy. Look at this nasty, nasty bratty boy needs spanking. I hate that I'm saying these things. They also got Astro Boy. This one's actually pretty dope. He's got like all his insides and stuff. And they even got the boy aspect of him. He is indeed a boy. My dog is still throwing rocks. Please ignore him. Fantasy does not necessarily endorse nor deter from my dog throwing rocks, let it be known. I also got this desktop gaming rig. This is actually kind of awesome. More of a modern take on the same general idea with all the internal components and whatnot. Hey, a wood cabin. It's got like the barn roof and stuff. They've just launched a bunch of these products on Amazon now. They're actually super well priced. I love this thing. This has been awesome. Making it a real computer aside, it's actually a really interactive, complex set. Tons of pieces, high quality, great price. Fantasy's got tons of products just like this. I wanna give a huge heartfelt thank you to them for sponsoring, making this possible. I'm 100% on board with the idea that this is actually a great gift for tech enthusiasts, for project enthusiasts. If someone who knows me is watching this, I will be angry if I don't get more of these sets for Christmas. The links to this set and all the other sets that they have are found, can be found in the description, pinned comment, all that stuff. Use code PETERISNICE. You know, I had to pull some strings but I finally got the, the code that everyone wanted me to get. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna play myself out. I'm gonna play my theme song. 